hop him right into game one here. Uh, the Squirly team does have the ace up their sleeve of the uh, Min Min, of course, but uh, with such a strong kind of powerhouse team. You only really see people who are like top three, four on the PR uh, have you know having someone on someone of that caliber uh, in your doubles all at Arsenal gonna stand a chance against these guys because they've teamed together for so long and Cole's been so dominant for so long and he switched off of Cloud to Joker, which makes sense. That's usually what he does when he loses a game or a set. Yeah, right now Blue Team's got lots of control of the stage. Even when they're able to hit Cole off, he's able to run up quick and, you know, try and retake anything that they're trying to take from AMAC, like that run up up smash we just saw. Those Rebels guards, though, might be a little bit uh, ambitious. Uh, Red Team's got the stage now with Min Min, and when Min Min's got the stage, uh, you, <laughs> you might just get smacked. This is how it happens. That Rebels guy is going to pay off there in Arsen, about halfway up the meter and only more as he comes and lands here. Arsen going to be online now. Amac fight for the stage here. He's going to have to try and take control of... Uh, now they're working together to uh, combo that min and get it as high as possible and as dead as possible. Yeah, that, those minion stocks are going to be just erased because that's kind of how you play this. You want to get rid of the stage hazard as quickly as possible so you can focus on the uh, other opponents that are trying to scrap with you a little bit more. Like a screen inch is just dashing around going for all these quick confirms. That fair on the ledge trap is really nice for Gamer Zag. Great ledge trap there from uh, from Cole, and game one is going to go to the blue team. It's actually not C and A there. That's kind of cringe. I'm just as happy Gilmore. So. Take it right back. Game two, we're off the min minute and onto the game and watch. For Corvo. Makes some sense, I suppose. We will have to see. We'll have to see if it uh, pays dividends or not. Yeah. Amex actually switched to Bayonetta, I did not realize, but uh, the Bayo is out. And uh, so is everyone swinging. I, I mean, everyone other than Cole is damaged up pretty good here. Uh, and Game Watch being so light, like, this is kill percent with our sent out. We might actually see the kill right here on the ledge trap. Misses the grab and then gets down smashed, F smash. Gonna put Cole at 85, but with the Rebels guard, our sent about halfway online, gets hit twice more, and he'll be in our sent range. High recovery ends up paying off pretty well for Gamer Zach, but now he's in the corner again, gets the grab, and then it gets dash attacked. That's just kind of how it goes if your teammate's not right next to you. Another down smash, F smash, gonna kill all of the blue team. A little, uh, or it doesn't kill Cole, actually. My bad. Gonna kill AMAC, though, unfortunately. Now Arsene is very online. 
And uh, Greninja very off stage. Gonna hit that ledge trap with the F tilt, and now Blue Team has got the stage completely. Cole jumps in front of the guns because he loves Squilly so much, uh, and takes that, eats it, goes down for the counter and gets it. Uh, Blue Team up uh, two stocks here. No, one stock. But uh, hardly. They're good. Red Team definitely keeping it even there. They're taking their counter hits where they can, they're taking their out of shield uh, as much as they can. That uh, down smash, F smashes are helping from uh, Squilly. Of course. And now red team is actually on the offensive here. Changed pretty quickly though as uh, both blue team members landed aggressively on stage. Now they got the whole stage. Squilly trying to hold it down the best they can. That uh, downer up smash though is going to make that stock lead just a little bit more skewed. There goes the first stock from uh, Cole. Red team's got the stage now. If they can make something of this uh, ledge trap, they got one stock, maybe two. Uh, looks like Cole Joker gonna live to see another day. And uh, it's actually Squilly in the hot seat here with this Game & Watch at a kill percent. Yeah, that up smash out of shield is gonna take it. Now Gamer Zack in an extremely dire position. Both, both blue team members are all over. And F smash off the Rebels Guard is going to even things up, but with Gamer Sack at 92%, things are starting to look not so good. Uh, if anything happens to Gamer Zack, we're going to be putting a 1v1 or 2v1 against a Game and Watch. Arsene nearly online here. One more hit against Joker is going to be that edge guard. I mean, in, in that activation. That Bayo F throw certainly isn't going to help. And that Bayo F smash, just raw F smash on stage, is going to lead to the Gamer Zack's demise, unfortunately. That counter is going to send him so far off stage. Not going to kill, though, which time slowing down the process at the very least. Going to get the up beyond the stage. Gets a down smash on uh, Cole, but does not get any kind of follow up on it due to a uh, good coverage from the team. And AMAC covers the roll. That's 2 0 for the blue team. <laughs> and at the end of the day, we're all just having a good time. Look at them wrapping up their control.